Whirlpool has manufactured quality products for nearly 100 years. And today, a Whirlpool appliance can be found in nearly every home. As the world's leading manufacturer of major home appliances, the company markets Whirlpool, KitchenAid, Kenmore, and other brands to consumers in more than 170 countries. Whirlpool encourages innovation from every employee in every division around the world. It recognizes that innovative products and ideas are a significant competitive advantage. If you walked into a Sears or a Lowe's or a Best Buy or anybody else today, you would walk into what we call a sea of white. So one of the things Whirlpool has really been forcing and, and pushing as a company strategy is what we call innovation. It is really saying, let, let's break out of this stagnation, let's break out of the commodity style of the, of the appliance industry and really start designing appliances the customers want but also introducing the new features, the new styles, and whole new products out there. While innovative products give Whirlpool an edge in a highly competitive market, its commitment to quality is one of the attributes that made it a world leader. I really think our customers' expectations, not just in the appliance world, but across all the industries, are really raising. And time is becoming more important. You know, we're all busy, we all have jobs. And to come back and say, you know, I need to take, you know, a half day off for it service technician to come to my house, we all get frustrated with that. So as we're working in the appliance industry, we are trying to eliminate that service call. We are truly trying to drive down to the point where our, our products don't require service calls. To achieve that, Whirlpool analyzes its warranty claims to quickly determine where potential problems exist and why. But current systems didn't provide the power or speed the company needed. To get anything out of my data analysis today, I have to download it from a mainframe, dump it to Excel, to Access, or some other program to try to summarize, trend it, and do any kind of analytics with it. So I, I truly feel I'm almost in the dark ages relative to my analytical capabilities. From the point that a product fails, to the point that we service it, and then it gets into my system, and then I collect enough of those to see there's been a trend or there's been an issue developing, to the point I get it to my engineer and fix it, that amount of time could be up to six months and we want to shrink that time. SAS warranty analysis now helps Whirlpool quickly analyze claims, uncover emerging issues, and make decisions that can lead to improved products. SAS moves me from, I'm gonna call it the 20th century to 21st century. One in terms of data analysis and trending and control charting and exception management, but also in terms of data extraction. I have data for manufacturing plants, for my engineering labs, for my customers. We have data spread all through our company. I don't have information. SAS is going to give me, you know, to use your term, the power to know and take my data to information to help me do the analytics I need to do. With the help of SAS, Whirlpool will continue to manufacture the highest quality products. Products that build brand value and customer loyalty. We're a multi-billion dollar company and we don't make investments in new systems lightly. What SAS brings to me is a level of analytics that I don't think anybody else out there can match. I mean, ultimately what I want to do as the quality GM in North America is I want to sell products that don't fail. I mean, that, that is my job. So every single product category, how do I drive those failures down as pos low as I possibly can? And will I ever get to zero? I don't know. But it's the journey that's important. The objective, it's not necessarily hitting that end number. So the journey is the, is the goal.